Hello YouTube. Uh, this video is a follow-up to my uh, last video about the images that have been taken from the new Mars Station webcam supposedly showing uh, Nibiru or Planet X. A couple of people have commented that they would have liked to have seen uh, more of the sequence as the mystery object uh, was leaving the picture. So here we go. Um, here are the uh, images from the, the same sequence. Here is the moon appearing on the right hand side. This is on the 30th of June 2012. We can see the moon progressing across the field of view and it's about to exit the frame here. Okay, now as it's exiting, we can see this uh, flare, this uh, lens flare coming in here. Um, if you can't see this uh, clearly, you may need to go down to your video settings and change to 720 so that you're getting a higher resolution picture. So I'll progress this on. This is uh, 1530 uh, GMT. Um, now this is the next frame which has been um, adjusted in Photoshop to uh, adjust the, the contrast and the brightness so that we can see the, the um, object or lens flare it really is uh, more clearly with the, uh, the star that I was talking about in my previous video was actually showing through the, the disc of the, of the object. Um, this is the same frame um, unprocessed and then as we continue on we've got um, 1550 1600, 1610, and 1610 is, is the last image that I used in my previous video. And uh, of course, these images are taken 10 minutes apart. So here we are at 1610 GMT, then 10 minutes later at 1620, the object is gone. There is, however, a larger uh, lens flare um, that we can see here. And then in the next frame, another 10 minutes later, that's completely gone. Um, so the other thing that, that's important to note are that these stars in the background, if I just back up again and let's just watch these stars in the background here, as I advance the, um, the frames we can clearly see those stars moving across the field of view. So that tells us that the, um, that the sky is clear, there's nothing that should be obscuring uh, Nibiru if it were really there and in fact if I go on even further there was quite a nice auroral display um, this part of it there and if I keep going there's a really good shot of it this would have looked really nice in colour but um, at, uh, at night time or, or when there's low light on this camera it actually switches to a sort of night mode where we don't have any colour um, so there we go for the people that uh, wanted to see the rest of the, the sequence um, there you have it. Um, there's the so-called Nibiru object which is just a lens flare. There it is progressing across the field of view at 1610 and 1620 it's completely gone. Um, so hopefully that's answered those questions that were raised. Um, thank you for watching and once again you might like to check out my Facebook discussion page. Uh, which is Vortex or Voices of Reason to Explain X. I'll put a link in the description area for you. Thank you for watching.